Okay, welcome. Okay. <clears throat> welcome everyone who plays Fortnite to the In the Dark episode. This is the first one. If you go into the uh, the Fortnite Mirrors tab, you can actually find it and play it. Oh, it's really fun. There's a few jump scares, but it's nothing too scary. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings, and then just depending on what you play on, you want to turn off or on something. I play on Switch, so we're going to- oh. I can see, like, almost nothing. But I guess that's how they want it, so. Yep. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to this menu, the settings, and it'll uh, change. So just do- so if you got- so yeah, just do it depending on what the lighting is. And then we're gonna head back to menu. And then... <clears throat> and then from here, we are gonna start the game. Yes. <clears throat> this is a really cool map. Yo, level up. Yo, level up. Okay. Anyway, so it starts off with you hearing the noise. You need to grab your flashlight. Flashlight is right here. Now, there really isn't anything much you can do, except just run around. At first, there aren't too many jump scares, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so apparently this map has like a, a cool like original story. And I'm really looking forward to what the uh, to what the map creator can uh, do with it, because this, this first one is really cool. I've already played it fully. I've already played through all of it. So this is just going to be kind of a walkthrough. So we're just going to run around. Yep, there it is. Where is everyone? I should go back to bed. This must be a bad dream. So that's exactly what we're waiting for. It's locked, and then this hallway that we saw earlier. It's so much longer. <laughs> so. <clears throat> yeah, if you notice, it's a lot uh, deeper than it was before. So. We're just gonna... We're just gonna run around, run along. There shouldn't be a jump scare yet. I'll do like a little like jump scare warning. <coughs> My voice is not good today. <coughs> anyway, yeah, I'll tell like jump scare warning. Maybe even put text on screen and do some fancy film editing stuff. <coughs> yep. So then you get down to this hallway, and it's just super long, and then you hit the end. So I'm pretty sure, uh, jump scare warning, just to let y'all know. Three, two, one. There we go. So you go to that third one from the left. Man, Peely, you okay, bro? I'm just gonna send you down the hallway. Don't worry, no more, not many more jump scares. And then you're in this uh, playground, and then as you run around, you'll get a little dialogue of the story. <clears throat> you had it all. Why? But you had it all, but you let it all go. Was it worth it? <clears throat> Was it worth it? So yeah, you'll just want to go from the park and find this creepy alley. And then you'll see this, uh, you'll see this creepy, creepy clock. And then you press it. What? Was not expecting this. What? <clears throat> anyway, we're just gonna keep going this this is where it all started 
the flower shop. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're just gonna. Then we get a cool little creepy transition. Why is that boarded up? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure. I think there's a jump scare. Yep, the first person, it's, there's about to be a jump scare. So basically, you just walk down this hallway, make sure to point your flashlight, and you see the creepy red <clears throat> jump scare warning. There's a shadow, and then he'll just come forward. And then this is basically the halfway point, so... I don't know what's going on here and relative to the story, but I'm lagging, so I'm just gonna press continue. My internet is dying. Guys, send 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 internet support. My internet is dying. Yeah, this is a really, really cool map. This place, it feels familiar. I'm safe, I just shouldn't get too far away from the path. This house, was it my refuge? So basically when you get in the house, you can explore the house. I literally got stuck on this part. Well, not this part, but I was like, hmm, is the key in the log pile? Oh my goodness, it is. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> That's not entirely obvious. I didn't really struggle with that though. What I really did struggle with is you interact with the generator and it says, generator, where do the wires lead? To outside. You can explore the house, but you don't really have to. There aren't any jump scares or anything in the house, so <clears throat> you'll be fine if whether you want to explore it or not. So if you go around back you'll see that the, uh, the wires lead to the creepy basement. <clears throat> this door needs the electricity to open. I think I should find the fuel for the generator. I searched the house for like 20 minutes. After this, I searched the house for like 20 minutes for fuel and found like nothing. That's because the fuel is actually over here. You have to, you have to keep going on the path, go up this little hill, and then this monument, it reminds me of the city. And then you have a monument? There's nothing upon the pa on, upon the pedestal. Perhaps I need an object. I sacrificed my flashlight. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, don't drop your flashlight. You don't need to. <clears throat> you found a can of gas. The sloshing sound and weight lets you know it's full. It's sufficient. So then you run back to the house and put the feet oh I didn't know that would show up that's cool <clears throat> um yeah if you're a fan of horror then or at least it, just like a few jump scares then this is kind of the map for you. So then you go into the house and then add the fuel. It's a pretty short map if you know how to do it. Then once you add the fuel, you get a change of audio. Then you go around back to find it. this about halfway open and not able to be opened. Door got jammed. I need to force it open with something strong. Bam. Toolbox is filled with random tools. Too small for use. Leaning on the toolbox is a metal pole wedged into the ground. Take it? Yes. This should do it. <clears throat> now here's what you want to do. You want to be fast about this. You need to wedge open. <clears throat> After this, you need to go really fast. So you need to wedge open, go into the basement, pick up the relic, and then run, because you, f you feel an unwelcomed presence in the air. Something is coming after you. As you can see, it's a zombie. It's an actual zombie. I don't know if you'll actually die or something. 
but you are actually chased. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna say hi to the zombie. Hello there, Mr. Zombie. We're just gonna play some Ring Around the Rosies while the horror music is playing. Okay, let's go put the relic in, into the monument. I need to place the relic. And there we go. Then the really cool audio comes in. I just have to walk down this hallway. <clears throat> You've come far here. I think you're getting there. <clears throat> There's a lot more ahead, and I hope you're ready for it. I hope you figure out your rights and wrongs. I hope you find out what you did. What did I do? <laughs> Just be careful. The other shadows aren't so nice. Until we meet again, Amelia. It's not over yet. So, even though it says it's not over yet, it kinda is. <laughs> you just walk through this doorway. Then you interact with the TV, I think. Pretty sure Shadow shows up. Over, over. Shadow! Oh my goodness! Thanks for playing. No, really, thank you. So then, it just puts you into this room. And this is gonna be really cool. Uh, they're gonna put some features in. Voice acting is gonna be really cool. Did you find everything? Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. So thank you to the core for creating this map. Uh, switch on and off to play the song I composed. They made that? That's so cool! Guys, this guy is cool. Should probably at least consider supporting him. If you enjoyed this map or got spooked, please consider using the code, the core in the item shop, not case sensitive. If you see me in the game, make sure to say hi. And yeah. Oh my gosh, they made this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Hold up. Need to. Bye.